Hey YouTube, it's Whitney. As always, I'm coming to you for take two because I lost the first one. So maybe this will actually be a little more efficient and uh, less rambly, but I can't make promises. So I'm coming to you after a hiatus from YouTube of about two years. I first of all apologize, and I will attribute this hiatus to the fact that somehow I lost my password for my YouTube account and it took me a really long time to recover it. Two years? Maybe not, but I got really frustrated at one point and decided it wasn't worth it for the time being and said I'll get back to it later. So I'm back. <laughs> um, I wanted to come back. A, a big part of it was because I'm kind of somewhat back on track with with lap band. I was really stuck at a particular weight for the last two years that you haven't seen me so there was really nothing to update on anyway um, I think part of it was my body was comfortable there and I wasn't necessarily making any changes in in food or anything like that so there my body was just staying there so last time I talked to you guys I was um, at 185 pounds I believe and I started at 278. As of last Saturday when I weighed myself, I try to do this only once a week, I was at 176 pounds. That is a total loss of 102 pounds. So I didn't um, come on here when I saw the number 178 um, because again I didn't have my password but so today we are going to celebrate my total loss of 100 pounds. <laughs> Finally! Like I was so close uh, for so long and it's pretty neat to see that number on the scale. So congratulations to me. I can pat myself on the back because it actually has been a really long road. So four years. Um, my goal weight has been in my head or in the 160. So 165, 160. We'll see where I can get. Um, I'm pretty happy actually with the way the um, my body is right now. I've gone from a size 22 to a size 12. I can fit into 10s. I went to Target the other day just just to see, and I can fit. It's not very pretty, <laughs> but um, but I'm a comfortable 12, and that's nice. That's really nice actually. Um, it's a big difference to go into a store and and I don't even think about it anymore. I know that I'll be able to find something and. Okay, I'm not going to cry. That is a really cool thing. Um, so for those of you just joining, I've said my numbers, but my surgery was on March 2nd of 2010. A big reason why I've been able to lose this weight is because of running. I started the Couch to 5K program very, maybe too soon after my surgery, but I did my first 5K May 22nd, 2010. Since then, I have done three half marathons. Um, one, my first one was in 2011, and that, I did that in two and a half hours, a little over two and a half hours. The second one was last year in Marseille, France, which I'll tell you why I was there later. Uh, I did that one in two hours and 24 minutes, so uh, 10 minutes faster, which was cool, but I didn't really train too much. I did my third one two weeks ago, was in New York City. It was the Moore Fitness Half Marathon for women, which was really cool, around Central Park, and I did that in two hours and eight minutes, guys. Like, I'm getting faster, which is really cool. Um, and just in general, I'm in shape, which is, it's crazy. I, until recently, <clears throat> I never would have called myself a runner. I would tell stories to people, well, I'm not a runner, you know, but I run. And one day someone looked at me and said, I think you're a runner, Whitney. So within the last couple of weeks, I think that I'm ready to call myself a runner because I have been training since January 22nd for my very first full marathon. It will be May 25th and it will be in Normandy, France. It will finish at Mont Saint Michel and um, it'll be along the coast and I'm really getting kind of excited for it. Two weeks ago, I did my first 20 mile run, which was a, it was an experience, guys. <laughs> like, you doubt yourself 
throughout well I did anyway and you get to the end and it, I wanted to cry and scream and fall over and, and it was wonderful so um, I can't imagine what the real deal is going to feel like um, so hey maybe you're wondering hey Whitney why are you in France so much and since the last time I've talked to you guys um, I'm still a PhD student at Penn State and it's going pretty well I hope to graduate December 2015, so there's still a while to go, but that's how these things are. Um, so, so there was a little break there. I had a phone call, sorry. Um, okay, so back to why am I in France? I have actually spent 80% of the last two years living in Marseille, France, which is in the south, and that is because I am doing my PhD in clarinet acoustics and the people who are doing this the best are there. The guy writing the textbook is there on this type of stuff. So um, May 20, <coughs> excuse me, May 2012 I got an email um, that I received a very nice fellowship to do my PhD and it gave me three years of funding and I could choose my project. Um, if I wanted to do clarinet acoustics, Penn State doesn't do it that much, so I sought outside um, help. And so I go to France, I, my apartment's actually there, and I stay there until I, I come back to the States for conferences and for um, different things because I am technically a student at Penn State University. So, um, yeah, things are going really well. I like uh, being over there. Et oui, bien sûr, je parle français aussi. Um, I do speak French while I'm there. My professors now speak to me only in French, which is kind of cool. Um, am I fluent? That's always a question I get. And I think that I'm fluent because I'm conversational. And um, most things that are said to me, comprehension-wise, I, I understand. Word vocabulary-wise, I have a long way to go. But this is after two years, so I think that um, it's okay. I also, uh, since I talked to you last, I was in a relationship with a guy who was French. Um, not too long after I made that video, we actually decided to split up. Uh, before I went to France, actually, weirdly enough, and it was very amicable. We're still friends, we talk very often now, but we just decided in the long term that it wasn't quite right. So it was mutual. and. Um, so when I got to France, he did help me move in, and it made sure I was settled, and if I ever needed help, especially making French phone calls, which is difficult, he would help me. Um, but in March of 2013, I actually started um, seeing another French guy, because I was in France, and so for a little over a year, I've been seeing, uh, sorry about the telephone, I can't stop it. Um, I've been seeing a guy over there, and he is wonderful, <laughs> and um, I think one of the great things that we've done is very early in the relationship, I made it a point to to be honest and to be open, and one of the things, of course, you have to be honest about, something that makes me feel quite vulnerable when I talk about to m other people, non lap band community folks, is my lap band. So I explained to him very early on that I had to eat slow, I couldn't eat certain things, and that sometimes I had to get up and walk, and that I have levels. Level four is when I can't talk, and I have to get up and walk to the bathroom. And sometimes it turns out okay, and sometimes it doesn't. But he, he knows my levels now, and um, encourages me to eat slow, encourages me to not eat certain things, even if I love them. So sometimes I give him this face, when he, he tells me, oh, oh, you can't really eat that, right? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, now things are really good. And he will be, in about 10 days, he will be in the United States for the very first time. He's never been here. He's flying into New York. We'll spend some time there together. Then we'll go to Kentucky to meet the family. And then up to Chicago for a few days to see some of my friends. Then we'll fly back to France together, at which point I will go and run my marathon. So, um, I won't keep this any longer because um, that's a pretty long update for the first one. I hope to really be around a lot more in the near future. 
if I can figure out how to get this camera to work every time and not have to make two videos every time. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. I'm happy to answer questions. Next time I really want to come on and talk about food struggles I've had and like thoughts about the future. Um, recently I've had a Facebook friend and also watching Sky Moon's video about having their lat bands removed and that's something that scares me a lot. Um, I hope to not have complications but the longevity of the lat band is still not completely known. Both of my parents still have their lap bands, and I'll, I'll talk about that in future updates, but um, it's something I think about. So for now, I'll leave you with that. Uh, maybe next time I can give you guys some pictures and whatnot. Um, I think that that's something people are interested in, is to see four years out, how has it gone, and are you maintaining, and, and I am. So again, thanks for watching. That's all for now, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.